One of the leading authorities on electrical safety is the National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA. Their document number 70E is recognized by OSHA and other regulatory authorities as the best practices for electrical safety. The 2018 NFPA 70E focuses on protecting workers from the two main hazards of electricity, the shock hazard and the arc flash hazard. A shock hazard is defined as a source of possible injury or damage to health associated with current through the body caused by contact or approach to energized electrical conductors or circuit parts. An arc flash hazard is defined as a source of possible injury or damage to health associated with the release of energy caused by an electric arc. In order to protect workers from the dual hazards of electricity, the 2018 NFPA 70E requires employers to develop an electrical safety program. An electrical safety program is defined as a documented system consisting of electrical safety principles, policies, procedures, and processes that directs activities appropriate for the risk associated with electrical hazards. The 2018 edition of the NFPA 70E recognizes that electrical safety requires the commitment of both employers and employees. As such, Article 105 has been updated to address both the employee and the employer's responsibilities regarding the electrical safety program. Employers shall establish, document, and implement the required safety-related work practices and procedures. Employers shall provide employees with training on the employer's safety-related work practices and procedures. Employees have the responsibility to comply with the safety-related work practices and procedures provided by the employer. Article 110 lists the required elements of the electrical safety program, which includes the following. The electrical safety program should provide employees an awareness of the potential electrical hazards in the work environment. The electrical safety program must identify the